because we're lonely, we're bored. We're just looking for an escape, distraction from ourselves. So the whole idea is, you want to fly in that part of yourself? There's a thing called tapping. Go on the internet and put in tapping. Google it. They got even on YouTube how to go about doing it. It's just tapping. Anytime you don't feel happy, you don't feel good, instead of reaching for Twinkies, Donut, or some cake, tap yourself. It quiets your mind and you're in the zone again, connected to the source, the divine, that is always the place of happiness, not the place of the distraction of materialism, which is a beautiful place to be. But most of you are so damn addicted to it. That's all hell you have. Time to go inward, create that space of joy. So that's basically my teachings. My teachings wiggle back to Surgeon General Report and way beyond that. The late President Johnson, when he gave the health message to the nation, and I would hate to see Obama give us a health message to the nation. I love the man, I think I do. He's so puzzling that it's hard to know where you are, especially with Clinton leading the path. But President Johnson said at that time, long ago for you, 65% of Americans, that included kids, 25% of the kids were suffering from degenerative and curable diseases. At least not curable by medical profession. So you know what President, the late president said? Go out and find out to the Surgeon General. Where are we the, we have the lousiest record of 45 nations had a higher life expectancy after the age of 40. So they did. They came back about 10 years up with about a thousand pages of report. Now, so you don't miss the essentials of the whole thing. Just like the Bible, if you take the Genesis and you study it well enough, what is important is in the Genesis. Well, in the introduction to the Surgeon General Report, they put all the essentials in there too. And it was written by Dr. Kong, a medical doctor, who was also a head of a medical school. And he always says, as far as wellness and health is concerned, do not expect any help from your doctors or from the hospitals or any scientific breakthrough. The whole aspect of wellness resides in five basic principles. One of them is motion. Or in other words, exercise, which when you're doing exercise, what happens? It's the number one antidepressant. When you do your one hour morning or whatever time, best in the morning, you're going to have a hell of a good day. You don't do, you think you don't have time? Let me tell you, it doubles the amount of time you have that day. Everything starts falling into synchronicity. Life works for you instead of you working for life or for your pay or whatever it might be. So diet was number one. Exercise was number two. Number three was attitude. Like I said, you can change your attitude to motion. Doesn't matter what time. Look left, right, and you forget what the heck is bothering you. That's how stupid your mind is. Easily distracted from the non-essential. And then number three is or is less snoozing. Most people are about three hours behind on a daily, on their rest, recovery. What is rest all about? Well, it has to do with, it's an opportunity for you to stop eating. <laughs> That's why morning is breaking a fast. Breakfast, breaking a fast. Because people are eating too much, too long. You want to cut down your sleep needs? Guess what? Go to bed hungry. 
the first stage of sleep, when you do fall asleep or knock yourself out on some big sausage, what happens is digestion. Otherwise, if the food is not digested, it rocks, it sours, and it can kill you. Most people die in their sleep after a big pizza or some other thing. You know, they got pizzas called Poopstone Pizza. I wonder why they call it. You can buy it at a grocery store. They can knock you right off. It's not even good enough to be a flying saucer. So, rest. Once you finish the digestion, then the body goes into detox mode. You can go to bed looking ugly as hell. And you know, you get a good night's rest, and all of a sudden you revive, you can look at the mirror and say, oh, you're beautiful. Well, that's detox. Can you imagine if you extended that detox, not only for eight hours, Try for 10, 12, 24, 36 hours, maybe once a week. The results that you would get would be pretty phenomenal. In other words, take time once a week to stop eating, or at least eat nothing but raw foods, or like fruit is in season, or have green smooth salads, blended for most of you. And then the last thing on the list was environmental conditions. Like if you're in Japan, you're screwed. <laughs> you know, that radiation is just like happening. But you're on planet Earth, things are not that good either. We're going through Earth changes. There, the temperature, everybody's saying last 10 years we have had the hottest summers. Sometimes the hottest winters too. Things are not the same as they used to be. I live in Costa Rica right now. After 15 years in the Hot Springs Arena, we used to do belly dance retreats, uh, drumming uh, at my farm in Sims, Arkansas, with my wife, who was a classic, beautiful belly dancer and a yogi. So I like to bring dancers reminds me of my essence 30 years in the belly dance world so the environment is the fifth one and it's pretty clean here especially when you get away from the roads the traffic you're breathing oxygen rich air so what are some of the things that are important Tomorrow, we're going to have a day of health is well thriving while on a thrifty Walmart road. If you, if you, you can appreciate and understand this, because health is mostly for the rich. I teach the way of the poor. And not the poor, but those who are rich in consciousness because you can go out and buy just few appliances a hundred dollars at Walmart and you're gonna have the tools that will need it to make all kind of delicious foods they even have a Rolls Royce now blender called the uh, ninja not only is it a blender but also a food processor and that's about all you need in terms of helping you in the food preparation that can raise all kind of delicious meals. And then you get yourself a GE juicer, Big Mouth, that's only 50 bucks. Or you can go Osterizer, Chico, between those, $100. But it gives you the tools to work with. In other words, it can be done economically. Tomorrow you'll learn how to grow in your at Lowe's they sell paint strainer bags. I got in my paint strainer bag in my motel five pounds of sprout sack blowing in the shower. That's how simple it is. It's organic. The volume of seed multiplies eight times over its original content. And then the nutrient density just zooms up. I got also sauerkraut happening. 
Those are the fundamental foods. Sprouts, sauerkraut, sea cheeses, pre-digested protein of the highest sort, and the microbial is of the highest importance. If you study cultures that are noted for a low incidence of infant mortality, and we've got a very high incidence of infant mortality here in the United States, we also have <coughs> low incidence, when you have low incidence of degenerative diseases and high longevity, you find one common characteristic among all those cultures. They all consume on a daily basis some form of fermented foods. Now you're starting to see even one of the vitamins are selling what? Probiotics. The mainstream's got it. But do you know that those microbes, they multiply every 40 to 60 minutes in one microbe in 24 hours, guess how many it becomes? Way over a trillion. That's, that's like talking about a American budget or debt. <laughs> Very escalating. They double, 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 double every, uh, practically every 30 minutes. So you get, and what they do is they manufacture tons of protein, they fix nitrogen from the air. Studies that have been done, I quote in my book, The Bible, that have been done by Oolong and Huxley doctors. Those who live on a vegan diet with healthy probiotic culture inside, they manufacture 30 grams of protein in the form of amino acids that takes the nitrogen from the air, fixes it, and creates amino acids protein. Free protein from the air! Bugs! They manufacture, they work for you! You're either going to have to set up a good diplomatic relationship with the microbes, the invisible part of the world. It's about 90% of it, if not higher, of the world of the life forms are invisible on planet Earth and the whole cosmos. They have been done, studying, for instance, dust clouds in what? 99% of the dust is dehydrated microbes, <coughs> life forms. Life forms everywhere. And you, if you are lucky, you are just a bug culture. In a healthy individual, according to microbiology, the individual has 20 to 60 times more bacteria than they have cells in their body. And they do all kinds of wonderful things. And you go out and drink that chlorinated water. That's called antibiotics. It kills them. They want you to stay unhealthy. They want you to stay dumb. Yes. That's called putting fluorides into your water supply. It messes with your brain. It precipitates out into pineal glandular. So you lose your intuition. Wow. You just become a dumbed up zombie, which is what is going on. And then to make sure that they really have done the job, they shake through the sky with chemtrails, with guess what? Aluminum. The Alzheimer's disease is a special. And you gotta breathe it. You fight that whole thing by healthy internal body ecology by staying strong, by keeping your immune system strong. Green. The radiation is so phenomenal right now and we're subject to it. This, for instance, it does a major job on your red blood cell and you have a high 
demand for production of red blood cells, even though your body's crying, according to the standards 50, 70 years ago, everybody in this room is anemic. They cured anemia in USA by reducing the standards. Simple. <laughs> A study which was done by University of Florida, Department of Agriculture, over 100,000 children who were evaluated. 60% of the children who attended school were anemic, chronically anemic. How can they think oxygen, oxygen, oxygen? The highest consumer of oxygen is your brain. All your metabolic activities are determined by oxygen. And oxygen levels have diminished. From at one time it was 40% right now in New York City, LA, it's around 10, 12. Here it's probably closer to 15. It's not the 21 that the percentage oxygen in the atmosphere that we read in our history books. It's history, not reality. History is made up. We are consuming oxygen. That was 35 years ago when I was doing the statistics at a rate five times faster than it was being produced by nature. Oxygen levels keep on diminishing. So the way you maximize it, you're doing all kind of breathing exercises. Go out into the mountains. I was staying at the Happy Hollow every morning. I go up to, I ran, walked, ran, walked all the way to the top of the hill. Then I would do a bunch of breathing exercises and I ran down the hill. It took maybe an hour and a half, the whole thing. But I'll tell you, you feel alive. It's nature, nature talking, nature breathing, relating to nature. We're not beyond nature. We think we can get away with it, but we can. Right now, about 40% of our children are suffering from chronic incurable diseases, cancer, asthma, and Hippocrates Health Institute. We're getting about a third of our clients are in their 20s with cancer, with heart diseases, MS. We're looking at a generation where the parents will be outliving the children. This whole thing was studied by Dr. Pottinger, a, a, a veterinarian with cats. He showed on an 80% diet of cooked processed foods the impact it had from generation to generation to generation. The cats that were on 80% raw produce healthy litters from one generation to the next. The ones that were on cooked processed foods, the first generation on that kind of a dietary, the old age diseases started appearing at late kind of age. Those that were reproduced now the next generation old age diseases appeared in the middle age of the cats. And the third generation, those cats that did able to reproduce, it was in the children. I'm hearing children nine months old being getting chemotherapy. You don't have to buy into any of this reality. It's a choice, though the ignorance prevails, but there is polarization taking place. Some of you are into tennis. Wimbledon, did you know that uh, at Wimbledon, the star, leading star, two sisters 
the Williams sisters, they had to retire a year ago, no, actually a couple years ago, and they were not in the circuit. They got on our program. They came out top in a women's competition. You probably don't read Vogue, I don't either. But on the last issue, July, June, July issue of the French version, on the cover was Giselle Butchkin. You probably don't know her, but you know Tom Brady, that football player. That's his wife. She, between the two of them, they earn about $170 million a year. And they live, uh, they live part time. They're neighbors of mine. Three pages were devoted in the Vogue magazine on raw foods. Polarization. Hollywood, over half of the Hollywood is on raw foods. The biggest restaurant entertainment world, dining by those, it's raw restaurants. It's hot. It gets results. Why? First of all, it alkalizes you. Because only raw food can alkalize. Once you cook, it disorganizes the minerals and they do not participate biologically. They precipitate out and if you're lucky, you pass it out by urine. That's why, for instance, pasteurized dairy products. You'd expect that individuals who consume milk they would have no problems with osteoporosis, the bone disease. However, we find just the opposite. Not only is it the highest incident of osteoporosis is among nations that have the highest consumption of pasteurized dairy products. Likewise, the research by Anna Schwartz of King Gustav Institute, 25 year study, showed that every form of arthritic rheumatism is directly contributable to the consumption of pasteurized dairy products. It's the worst thing you could have. You disorganize the protein, you disorganize the minerals, and you can go on the internet www.notmilk.com, not milk.com. See all the research that is there. This is real. You want to get real? You want to wake up? Or do you want to get zombie? It's your choice. <coughs> do you realize Harvard Medical School is considered one of the greatest brain trusts? They made a major breakthrough in 2002. May 23rd, in New York Times Science Section, two-page article was on the ultimate cause of all degenerative, they said probably all degenerative diseases. Now this was right out of Harvard. The same study was repeated by two other universities later on. And what they find was that the, the sad, everybody on the standard American diet, the sad diet, and you know, the, the diet that requires for you to take some, some uh, you know, happy pills, because it is a sad diet. They have found that every one of the people have compromised immune system. The whole bloodstream is loaded with incompletely metabolized protein. They call them twisted protein that is keeping your immune system in a 24-7 situation in an inflammatory condition and it's not available for healing and rejuvenation. Every medical doctor will be in total agreement with you when they say, if we could only jumpstart the immune system, we could heal every disease. The immune system is tied up in processing 
they completely metabolized protein. And how come the protein was not metabolized? Because to metabolize protein, you need enzymes. And as you grow older and older, your enzyme levels continues to diminish. And it becomes a fundamental <coughs> disease. And what are enzymes? Enzymes are extremely heat sensitive. With temperatures above 120 degrees Fahrenheit, the enzymes start getting disorganized and you're losing your enzyme load. When you're eating microwave processed cooked food, McDonald's food, it's all enzyme-led.